All right, one of the things that we have to first consider when we are discussing high and low pressure systems in our unit for weather is that our Earth, Earth heats unevenly. And one of the reasons for that is that Earth is, of course, a sphere. Another reason is Earth is on a tilt. So um, these two reasons <clears throat> will create um, different areas of the Earth becoming hotter or colder at different times of the year. And just because you are near the North Pole or near the South Pole, you're always going to be colder than if you're near the equator. Another reason is that um, much of Earth is covered in water. Here's my fish. And water is a great source or has the, a, 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 an amazing ability to store heat and transfer heat through its currents. Um, also, Earth has many different elevations, mountain ranges. Um, you know, it has areas um, that have developed great amount of foliage. Um, and of course, there are deserts. Here's my desert. And so we have all these different areas. That's a cactus, by the way. Uh, so we have all these different areas um, getting different levels of heat, having different type of um, environments. And so it's going to create different air masses. And we know that a warm air mass, warm air will rise. And we've learned that cold air will, of course, sink. And that leads us right into our discussion of high and low pressure systems. So um, when we have air that's warm, that air will, of course, rise. And we get this thing called a low pressure system. The air is moving away from the Earth. And so the pressure is less on the Earth. And so that air condenses, creates clouds, and can also create precipitation. So low pressure systems are generally um, associated with all the bad weather. So you become very sad. Like how I did that. Okay, and then with a low pressure system, we have air rushing in. To take the place of that of that rising air um, and then for a high pressure system of course we have the opposite where air is pushing downward and it's sinking so because the air is pushing downward on the earth and pushing down upon us the pressure would be a high pressure system let's see here something like this a high pressure system all right, and so with a high pressure system, now watch closely, with a high pressure system, you get something completely different. See what I'm doing here? Clever. You get sunny days. All right, and so we have low pressure system with precipitation, low pressure system, high pressure system with clear sunny days, stable skies, no precipitation, no condensation. And um, there are, um, you know, another aspect to it is how these pressure systems rotate because of Coriolis effect. Um, and in the northern hemisphere, I believe the low pressure systems would be counterclockwise. Um, and the high pressure system will be clockwise. But um, that is a topic for another video. All right. Uh, thanks for watching.